and it looks like if you give me one minute uh, so yeah I believe it'd be I believe it would be let's see Uh, 15, or 19 bytes would be the answer for that one. And then, uh, so yeah, we're going to move on to part two, address resol resolution protocol. And this section will observe our protocol in action. Uh, just give me one minute to get this set up, and we'll get going. So yeah, we have, uh, command prompt up. This is how we're going to do this part of the uh, lab, the Wireshark lab. So we go in here, and it says type ARP. Uh, so we want to go alright, yep. Yeah. So in order to observe your computer sending or receiving ARP messages, we'll need to clear the ARP cache. So this is what we have to do. ARP dash D. And that. Hopefully this will work. I'm not sure, so we'll keep going. All right. So we have to make sure this is. Let's go to here. Clear recent history. All right. So we're gonna start this up again. Uh, so let's see. All right. Let me get this web address ready. Oh, alright, that's what I want to bring up. So we're going to run this again. So... Continue without saving. We're starting. Here we go. There we go. We're going to go into here. We're going to stop it. And then... So yeah, that's what we have. I already left one unchecked, so we should be all set. All right, so let me read through the questions and we'll get started. All right, so the uh, first question is, what are the hexadecimal values for the source and destination addresses in the Ethernet frame containing the ARP request message? So it's going to be, uh, so that's right here. It's going to be 00 colon D0 colon 59 colon A9 colon 3D colon 68. And then the destination is right here. Uh, so the second th question 13, give the hexadecimal value uh, for the 2-byte Ethernet frame type field. What upper layer protocol does this correspond to? Uh, this is going to correspond to, let's see. Give me one minute. Let me see if I can find this. I believe this answer would be the same thing. Would be uh, let's see, zero x zero eight zero zero right here. That's what I believe it would be. Not quite sure where else it would be in here. Oh, right here. Never mind. Sorry. It's 0x0806. So the next question, uh, down, so it tells us to download specifications from a certain website. Uh, let me do that. I'll be right back. <clears throat> so I did that. Now it's asking us how many uh, bytes from the very beginning of the Ethernet frame does the ARP opcode field begin. 
Uh, so that looks like it, it's going to be uh, 20 bytes from the very beginning. Uh, then it asks us what is the value of the opcode field within the ARP payload part of the Ethernet frame in which the ARP request is made. So we're it's going to be uh, just give me one minute. So yeah, from the information provided that we downloaded, I'm assuming this is where we get the information from. I'm really confused on this part of the lab. But uh, so yeah, this it's uh, opco field within the part. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, shit. Sorry. It's going to be 0x002 for, or no, 00x001 for request. Think, yeah, alright. Does the ARP message contain an, the IP address of the sender? Uh, yeah. It, it is... Let's see. It is containing my IP address. Um, or, yep, right there. Or, I mean, sorry, I brought up the other one because I couldn't. I, I saw I'm having trouble with this Wireshark lab, so, yeah. Um, the next question is where in the ARP request does the question appear? the Ethernet address of the machine whose corresponding IP address is being queried. The target MAC address right here. Uh, and then target IP address right there. So next, moving on to the next questions. So now we have to find the ARP reply, which I did, which is right after it. It says reply down here. Then it asks us how many bytes from the very beginning of the Ethernet frame does the ARP opcode field begin? Uh, and that looks like it will be. Yep, 002. Zero, zero, and then like this one is zero, 001. Zero, one. So, that's that answer. And then the next question is what is the value of the opcode field within the ARP payload part of the Ethernet frame in which the ARP response is made? Oh, sorry, I skipped a question. We gotta figure out how many bytes. And that's gonna be uh, 20 bytes from the very, very beginning of the Ethernet frame. And then. Where in the ARP message does the answer to the earlier ARP request appear? The IP address of the machine having an Ethernet address whose corresponding IP address is the is being queried. And right here, the earlier ARP request appears in the sender MAC address, which contains the Ethernet address right here for the sender who has the IP address of that. And then the next question, 14. What are the hexadecimal values of the source and destination addresses in the Ethernet frame containing our reply message? So that's going to be right here for the source, and then this is going to be the destination right here. All right. Um, this is. Let me read this last question really quick. So, um, just saying, we opened up. Like I already have this open. It's opening up the uh, the the wire shark. They already did the trace. So, they're saying there's another ARP request, which there is right here, but there there is no reply. It's asking why there is no reply. Uh. Uh, I'm, 
I'm assuming that <laughs> I don't know why there wouldn't be a reply. Maybe we, nobody was just at the mach nothing happened or I don't know something went wrong or that's all I can think of. Um, but yeah, that brings us to the end to this fire shark lab. Uh, some of it was a little confusing, but uh, we, I think I'd be interested to get through it. Try to answer the questions to the best of my ability. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Uh, and we'll see you next Wireshark Lab. <laughs>